Protest about the Beijing float that will be part of the 2008 Rose Parade here in Pasadena to kick off the celebration for the 2008 Olympics that will be held in Beijing. Part of the tragic irony about the Summer Olympics is that it is set to open on August the 8th, 2008, and that is exactly 20 years after the infamous day Burmese military forces massacred more than a thousand civilians who were demonstrating for democratic rule. And also, we cannot forget that on August the 8th, 1988, after the slaughter, Burma's Nobel winner, Aung San Suu Kyi, made her first political speech and assumed the role of opposition leader. China, Burma's neighbor and major trading partner, is best positioned to influence the current junta and urge them to negotiate with Aung San Suu Kyi who has been under house arrest for most of the past 18 years. We have all watched media coverage in September of this year of the Buddhist monks who protested the brutal suppression facing the people of Burma. We also witnessed the mayor of Pasadena ignore the pleas of Burmese freedom fighters who begged for his help to recognize this crisis. And a Buddhist monk recently testified before Pasadena's city council and before the Human Relations Commission, Mayor's Bogar Mayor Bogart's letter to Beijing's Jizing district had instead called such testimonies as merely allegations. As a citizen of Pasadena and as a former mayor of this great city, I must say that I never imagined a time would come when a mayor of Pasadena could ever say no to those in need. When citizens in the United States of America gather to protest, as we are clearly today, that protest is not to be intercepted by the police as it is in China. And I've been informed, and I actually witnessed just a few minutes ago, that the Pasadena Police Department was, quote unquote, offering to accept Situ's letter to Mayor Bogart here in front of City Hall in a not-so-subtle ploy to suppress media coverage of the caravan to Mr. Bogart's home to deliver that letter. And there have been other efforts 
to suppress this protest of Mr. Bogart's embrace of China's government. And I can only wonder if the mayor has embraced China to a level where he feels comfortable following their example by trying to deny the right to assemble as guaranteed under our First Amendment. Situ, please know that your message is welcome in Pasadena, and we will continue to press our elected officials to not only uphold our own Bill of Rights, but to continue to ensure that our country defends freedom and justice for all. Aung San Suu Kyi has made a great request to us all when she said, please use your liberties to promote ours. And so too, if you could come up here with me, I want to make a special presentation to you. Thank you. This is the pin, the official city of Pasadena rose pin that we present to dignitaries who visit our city. And presenting this pin to you today has a special meaning for me, and I want to make sure that you always feel welcome in our city. Thank you. But let me pin you with this pin. Thank you, Mr. Former Mayor, and uh, thank you all the people from uh, Los Angeles. Thank you for well, um, warmly welcoming here. May I speak in Burmese? I'll translate as much as I can. Um, I thank everyone for welcoming me here. I am so happy that we saw, we, I met everybody here in Unity today. I have left my, I have been traveling for 15 days already. And I I strongly believe that I witnessed the uh, unity and the effort among uh, w whenever I have stopped over, and I strongly believe that we will have a democracy sooner. I promise that I will do more and force uh, for foreseeable future and that in the future in the trouble ahead of me I'll do my best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Samen, hè? No? Dear Mia Bogart, I am a Burmese refugee who was forced to flee my motherland after 1988 democracy uprising. I am driving my car across North America, part of North America campaign for free Burma, aim to raise awareness of humanitarian crisis and brutality going on in the military rule Burma. Today, I am joined by member of Pasadena Coalition in support of human rights in China to rally at Pasadena City Hall and to your home to bring this letter in person and ask for your help. Since you have strong relationship with China's leader, has been demonstrated by your embassy of their participation in the Beijing Olympics by welcoming them into Pasadena's Treasure Rose Parade. I am implored you to recognize that what you are doing is a mistake and instead, please help us. China, Burma's neighbor and major trading partner, is best positioned to influence the current junta and ask them to negotiate with Aung San Suu Kyi, a Nobel Peace Laureate, who has been under house arrest for the most of the past 18 years. We, including Buddhist monk, have testified before Pasadena City Council and before the Human Rights Relations Commission. Your letter to Beijing's Zijian District Head instead call such testimony as mere allegation. I am certain that you have watched media coverage in September of the Buddhist monks who protest the brutal <coughs> suppression facing the people of Burma, and therefore I must encourage you to know that it is vital for American legislators to maintain pressure on the military junta who have ruled Burma since 1962 to find and em embrace democracy and respect human rights. I invite you and encourage you to join all human rights supporters in January 1st, 2008 and turn your back to the Beijing floats as it passed by. Your small act of courage will offer tremendous hope not only for the people who beg for basic human rights, democracy, and religious freedom in China, but also for the people of Burma. Sincerely, Sifu. Okay. So, uh, Sifu will officially hand over the, uh, the letter to the uh, Pasadena police. May I have the honor of a uh, uh, representative from the public? Could you please come over here? And if you don't mind, could you please also identify yourself so everybody can hear us? Corporal Julie Fanny. This is Corporal Jonah Fanny from Pasadena Police Department. Thank you.